Over the past six months, our first guest has become a hip hop and pop culture phenomenon. Fasten your seatbelts and please welcome Cardi B. It's nice to meet you, and uh, your name is really not Cardi B. Do I call you Cardi B, even though that's not your name? I mean, can you even pronounce my real name? My real name is Belkalese. Belkalese? I can pronounce Belkalese. Do you know what I'm saying? A lot of people be like, Belkalis? Uh -huh. Belkalis. Yeah, well, if you read it, you probably would, but, but Belkalese? But you don't go by that. You go by Cardi B. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Cardi or Cardi B? Or B? What, do you, what is it? You know, like, it really depends. I really like when people call me Barty, but it's like Cardi, all right, you know? Because, you know, people in the hood call me Bacardi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, on Instagram, my, my, my Instagram used to get deleted a lot because, you know, Bacardi, oh, trademark, Bacardi. Right, sure. Illegal. Yeah, right. Yeah. So it's changed to Cardi. Yeah, I put it right. So I'll call you Cardi. Yeah. But do I add the B? Do I do Cardi B or just Cardi? I want to act like I know you. Like, uh, you know, my friends just call me Cardi. Cardi. All right, yeah. I'll call you Cardi. All right, yeah. Cardi. Um, <laughs> you're doing, congratulations. You're doing very, very well right now. You're very popular. <laughs> really. They love you. I try. I didn't mean to start a beef, but I decided to call myself Cardi E, and I, I, I posted that. And did I start a beef? Did I start a rap beef? You know, I. <laughs> Maybe so, you know, Ellen, I trademarked my name. I paid $2,000 for Cardi. Oh, really? Yeah, you gonna pay $2,000? Maybe, I don't know. If I pay $2,000, I can use Cardi E? Well, can you pay me the $2,000? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. Um, by the way, you were awesome on Saturday Night Live. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> That's a big deal, like, I mean, That's, I, I know you've done a lot of things and you're doing well, but that's live and it's Saturday Night Live. It's this amazing, you know, institution. Were you nervous doing that? You know what? I was nervous for my second performance. For my first performance, I was like, ah, party with Cardi, yeah. <laughs> and then on my second one, I don't know, like, I, I was sweating. My underarms started itching a little bit because it's like, oh, my God, the world's going to know that I'm pregnant. Oh, here we go. Right. Opinions coming. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, because that's when you revealed it all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. So you were more nervous to reveal that you were pregnant. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, uh, and now, do you feel good that you've, re first of all, you don't really, there you look pregnant. You don't look pregnant here. You're hiding it well. Oh, well, you know what I'm saying? I got Spanx. I got, uh-huh. <laughs> I got three layers of clothes. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like. Right. And you're, you're twerking it at Coachella. I saw there's a lot of twerking going on. Uh, now. Yeah. It looks like you're getting ready to give birth right there. It looks yeah. like. But you know, they say the, the more you move, the easier it will come out. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, yeah. Come out, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, especially if that's comfortable for you to do, it'll be easy to... to... Yeah. I was just trying to show the world how I got pregnant in the first place. I see. I see. <laughs> like that. Like that? Like that. Just that's like... how it happened. That's how it... Okay, that's good. That's where I am. Right. right. We were all day. curious and we didn't know how, so... <laughs> And now we do, so that's great. That, yeah, like that. Just like that. Right. 
The baby daddy was here not too long ago, Offset, who is, uh, you know, he's in uh, Migos, everybody knows that. And I, um, I, helped, I helped him buy a car. Do you know that I helped him buy a car? Yes, he said all the time that you gave him a, di that you helped him get like a discount. I was like, oh, well, she got to help me because I got yeah. to take a car too. Well. Wish I was friends with her. Well, now you are, Cardi. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Cardi, all you have to do is tell me what you want. He told me what he wanted. I made a call and I found him the car. So you t what kind of car do you want? You want to know something? I think I want like a Lamborghini truck. Because I need like a baby car, even though I don't drive, but you yeah. know what I'm saying? You don't drive, but you want a Lamborghini truck? I am a professional passenger. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a license? No. You don't have a license? No, I'm from New York. So the Bronx. Yeah. But people in the Bronx drive, right? You know, I was so used to taking the train. Uh-huh. Then I was like, why well, I need a car for? No. And now you've surpassed all that. You have people that drive you around. So you don't need uh, your license at all. You're absolutely right. But so that's not the smoothest riding car, the Lamborghini truck, I don't think. It's pretty. Oh, it is. <laughs> it is. All right. Well, think about it. But if that's what you want, what color do you want? Red. <laughs> What color interior? A sign that is baby friendly. Baby friendly? Yeah. Brown. Brown. <laughs> yeah, then, then nothing really shows. You don't want white interior with a baby. Yeah. No. Well, think about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look up uh, my friends and see if I can get you a Lamborghini uh, truck, all right? See, any friends like you, all, all my right. friends is getting me into fights and trouble. No. <laughs> you're, you're from the Bronx. And you're 25 years old. Mm -hmm. And what were you like as a kid? Uh, as a kid, I was just always like the funny kid. I used to get kicked out of class. Mm -hmm. Like it's like Belkalis, and it's like, okay, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's the principal's office. For acting up. Mm -hmm. I wasn't like a bad kid. I was just, I was just very disruptive. Like I, I don't know. It just, it's so hard not to tell jokes and stuff. Yeah. Well, it's good. What you're doing is disruptive, which is the most important thing in the music industry. You want to be disruptive. You want to introduce something new, which is what you're doing. Yeah, but it wasn't that good in school. Oh no, it wasn't good to be disruptive. Yeah. But but you were a good student, I heard. Uh, on things that I liked, yes. Like I, I was really good in history. Mm hmm. Look at you. Who are you? Who are you? Who, you look where better. You got the where, I don't know. I think I have that up in my dressing room. It's, an, it's I have that framed. Um, how old were you there? Look at you with your rose. Is that like a? A 17. You were 17. Mm -hmm. And did you have any, did you want to be a rapper then? I always wanted to be an artist, but I just like gave up on my dream because it's like, I felt like, mm, Music is not paying my bills. Right. So, and that's when you became a stripper? Yes. OK. And how long did you do that? I did that for um, 19, 20, 21, like three, three and a half years. Three years. And did you, did you like it? Did you Hell hate yeah. it? Hell you... <laughs> yeah. I did. Tell me why. I mean, you know, a lot of people want me to be, a lot of people want me to be like, oh, I hated it. I, I don't recommend it to nobody. I don't recommend it to any, everybody because it's not for everybody, but it made me money. It paid my bills. It got me my own apartment. It got me my boob job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had about $20,000 when I was 20 years old already, and it just helped me a lot, you know? Yeah. But then, and then how did you make the transition then from that to rapper? I did the transition because it's like I started getting a lot of money and the money I could, the money I made, I used it for invest, to invest in my dream. In yourself? Yes, in my yes. dream. And then the VH1 show helped you? Or were you kind of famous before that? I, you know, I already had like a million, a million and something followers on Instagram. Like people, what helped me was my personality. Mm-hmm. My personality took me places, you yes, know what I'm saying? Yes, for sure, yes. Who would have known? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, 
All your classmates knew. Your teachers knew, your classmates knew, but I think people don't see that that personality in a, in a child is important in school, and they should, you know, like you said, not always at the same time when you're trying to work, but I think it's important. I made teachers cry when I left. Like, it's like, we love you so much, Belkalees. We're really gonna miss you. But the smartest person, the teachers wasn't crying for them. Yeah. <laughs> You know who you are, smarty pants is out there. Yeah. All right, so um, let's talk, you're gonna have a baby, and have you thought of names? Uh, yeah, my dude um, named the baby. I really like the name. He named it already? Mm hmm And what is it? I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let him say the name. Okay. Since he named the baby. Right, I'm just gonna guess. Um, Susan. <laughs> no. No. No, more complicated than that. Yeah. Is it gonna be like a tricky name? It's, it's like almost tricky, but when like it comes out, it's like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you $20,000 if you name it Ellen. Can I put it in the middle name? <laughs> <laughs> Let me think about it. Maybe, maybe. All right, maybe so, I'm gonna think about that. I got something for her. I uh, hopefully it's a it's a her. I'm just guessing. I got. <laughs> that is so but you. Come on. <laughs> That's a you, y'all. All right, we'll play a game. We'll be back. We're back with Cardi B, and we're gonna play one of my favorite games. It's five second rule. I'll name a category, actually Twitch will name a category, and uh, I, we have five seconds to name three things in that category, and then you hit the button. I'll start so you see how it goes. It's in five seconds goes real fast. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay Ellen, name three things that can fit in your pocket. Uh, uh, money, um, uh, marbles, and uh, a Kleenex. Yes. So I have 1.7 seconds left. Okay. okay, Cardi, name three things you say when you're surprised. Oh, snap, oh, shit, come on, oh, fuck what? <laughs> hey, no, wait. No, you have to do it after you name it. Who said, who said that? After you name it. All right, okay. that's okay. Okay. It's a tie. Ellen, name three words that sound disgusting but aren't. Um, uh, wussy, um, <laughs> sludge, and uh, <laughs> smut. <laughs> no, know. You know what word? Moist. Moist. Yeah. Yes. Moist. Darn it. Yes, moist sounds bad and it's not really. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Cardi. Besides boobs, what are three different names for breasts? Uh, watermelons, melons. You did it. <laughs> watermelons and melons. All right, Ellen, what are three things you wish you owned but don't? Uh, um, Oh. <laughs> she got a you Lamborghini got truck yeah. connection. Yeah, I, I kind of. Yep, yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, Cardi, Cardi, name three things you shouldn't do at a strip club. Uh, not give money, slap the booty real hard, and uh, eat chicken wings. <laughs> eat chicken wings. People eat chicken wings in the strip club. That's gross. It's kind of gross. Yeah, me. they should not eat chicken wings in a strip club. <laughs> it's gross. All right, Ellen, name, uh, name the last three celebrities you text with. Uh, 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 Bruno, uh, Justin, and uh, Anna Ferris. Oh, two, wow. Okay. Cardi, name three things that make you laugh. Uh, uh, money, chocolate, and Makeup in the car, and I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm unhuggable right now because I couldn't take a shower. But you know, <laughs> you smell fine. <laughs> but how was it in Paris? 
it was it was it was amazing. I had a good time. Yeah. What shows did you go to? I went to the Chanel show and to the Tom Brown show. Uh huh. <laughs> Fancy. You you like to go to those, right? Yeah. And do you buy things there? Yeah. We all, yeah. Of course. Yeah. I was there. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. It wasn't really busy that day on the street. Um, <laughs> what's this? What's happening? Are you fencing somebody? <laughs> no, it's fashion. Oh, I sorry, sorry. Um, and Chance, I, I just saw you recently. Every day I yeah, see you. Yeah, I know. So. Now you're just here weekly or yeah. something. I like it. Um, and uh, so let's talk about the let's talk about the show yeah. and how this came about. Yeah. So uh, it's uh, hip hop's first legitimate TV competition series uh, on Netflix, and it's basically myself my fellow judges uh, seeing the greatest talent in hip hop across the nation and bringing them into one place and trying to, you know, see what they got. And, and uh, who's, who's the hardest on them? So, so far, I've seen the first episode. And who do you think is the hardest? It's definitely not Cardi. I was hard. Yeah, Cardi, Cardi, that's she, she, she. I feel like we'll be there all day. Because we'll be there all day. You, well, I like you, right. but I don't know. <laughs> so what do you think, Chance? Yeah. yeah, it comes down to me every time. Yeah, it's always a, a chance. Right. No, you told somebody you didn't like them. Oh, a couple of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah a I said a couple yeah. of them. Now, do you think you're tougher on women than, than they are? Um, no. Well, Kind of, because you know, <laughs> when, yeah. when, when it comes to women, I feel like it's like you have to have like the whole package. You right. know what I'm saying? Like it's like you gotta have like the right voice. Because let me tell you something, there's some women on Instagram that they can rap, but their voice is just like, I don't feel like people wanna hear it for too long. <laughs> so it's just like that, you know, you have to have the confidence. You almost have to be like also like, like not even really like an open book, but everybody just wanna know you. I always yeah. tell the girls, it's like, you gotta be that girl that guys wanna be with and girls wanna be like. Yeah, well that's kind of, that's with guys too, that you, that guys wanna, well, not be with, but but guys want to <laughs> like and be like, right? Yeah, sure. Wasn't it? So you're married to Offset, just in case you didn't know. Mm. Um, and <laughs> wasn't wasn't it Offset who kind of told yeah. you it's time for you to get married? Yeah, I was at Coachella when you performed. What was this? Two years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, I met Set. He had a party at. Uh, we went to French's house, to French Montana's house. We were all in the backyard, and he pulled me to the side and he told me that you guys had just got married in yeah. the backyard. And he was like, yo, you need to take care of business, blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, and I came back home and I, I proposed like two months later. Wow. Yeah. Did yeah. you know that? I, I know that too. He said that in the interview, and I was like, oh. <laughs> that is so beautiful. And marriage, <laughs> marriage is such a crazy unity. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> In a good way, right? In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Y'all have a very unusual way of showing your affection in public. Mm. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Do y'all always kiss like that? <laughs> Only when we in French. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> It's supposed to be covered up with the mouth. The mouth and then that stuff happens inside the mouth. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Sometimes when we do all of that, you know what I'm saying? I have makeup and then all that lip glosses and the oh. concealer gets on his face. Then he look like he ate a, a donut and whatnot. <laughs> so we just gotta, you know what I'm saying? No, now I get it. That's... <laughs> that ever happened before to you? Uh, no, but now that I see that that's why we should do it, yeah, ladies. <laughs> Man, that's the way you kiss when you're when you've got makeup on, so you don't have to get it all over his face. That's when the lips are in the way. Yeah, the, the lips, lips are in the are way. Lips are just in the way. Get straight all to right. the good stuff. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take a break um, and <laughs> see if any of that airs. We'll be back. All right, this is part of BPI Chance Rapper in the rhythm and flow. All right, so Nipsey Hussle is in it, as we said, and that was kind of the last thing he did, right, before he was killed? Yeah, it was mm. huge. I think so. I mean, it was um, a huge one honor. of, it was very close to. That was the same night, actually, that um, we went to, to his Grammy uh, uh, nomination party. Mm -hmm. uh, me, him, Jay, and Dave Chappelle, Snoop, we was all there. And 
we shared, you know what I'm saying, some we had we had some laughs and it was a great time. Yeah, what a great guy, what yeah. a what a loss. Phenomenal. Um I I can't let the, you sit here without me telling you how great you were in Hustlers. Yeah. 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 He Thank you. I got it. I know we're talking about hu hu rhythm and flow, but Hustlers, did you enjoy doing that? Um, I enjoyed it, and I was just like, I couldn't believe that I was like on set for like 16 hours, <laughs> and then like, God, like, do this what, what uh, <laughs> actors and actresses gotta go through? Like, you know, artists, we have long days, but it's just full of excitement. It's, it's like we move around, we right. doing something. It's like you gotta wait on the trailer till it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, turn the lights around, the cameras around. Yes, you gotta do the same scene like 20 times. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. You're not gonna do that again, are you? Oh yes, I am. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm going to film for a movie this month. Oh, well, you just said you didn't enjoy it, but it, but you don't care. I enjoy the check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that why you did Rhythm and Flow? Yes. <laughs> you want to know good. something? We did it for the... It, it, we, everybody do it for the check, but once we was there, you know... We the came last, for the check, we, but we stayed for the artist. Yeah. Yes, there. and you want to yeah. know something? a connection to the to the contestants and to everybody. Uh -huh. I was really emotional the last day. Like I just couldn't yeah. believe it. It was so sad. Good. I feel bad because I feel like we crushed a couple of people's dreams. Well, a couple of their dreams but you want to know something? <laughs> the labels, labels would have done that. Well, you know, this is the thing though, because people actually have like a, a something in them, like a gift that they're actually put on earth to go do. And and music is not it for some of them. So we need to get them off of that path so they can clearly find them. their you're, life yes. purpose. You're helping them. Yeah. Expeditiously, yeah. we should do this. Exactly. Yes. All right. So uh, you're going to answer some tough questions. We're going we're gonna to take a break. I'm going to ask questions. And uh, pure honesty. That's all we want from you. That's mm. all we ask is, is complete honesty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Does the Fifth Amendment uh, apply? No, no, it's no all Fifth Amendment. Okay. you have to answer. We'll be back. Can I call my lawyer? Hey, we're back with Cardi B, T.I., Chance of Rapper. It's time for a game we call Never Have I Ever. Mm. And I'll ask a question, and uh, you will say, uh, I have never or I have. And it's, again, complete honesty, and we will know if you're lying. Mm. <laughs> all right. Never have I ever hooked up with a fan. Well, wait, wait a second, because my husband said he was a fan of me okay. before he met me. Well, then he, yeah, you have. So, ah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, never have I ever sent a dirty text to the wrong person. <laughs> just you. To the wrong person, Cardi? To the wrong person. Because I just be typing so fast, and I just... <laughs> But I'd be like, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but that's not for you. <laughs> Who did it go to? Uh, girlfriends, they were like, oh. All right. Never have I woke up in a strange place without remembering how I got there. Does home count? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh, all right. Only one there that... <laughs> Never have I gotten a tattoo I regret. What do you regret? I got like three different men tatted on me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they gotta go. <laughs> they gotta go. And what do you have on you? I have a, it's not really funny. I just have a really bad tattoo on my chest. What now. is it? It says, uh, it says get back to work, but it's like backwards so that when you read it in the mirror, it's like get back to work. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> It's the worst thing I ever did. Was that a dare? No, I thought it was deep. I thought it was cool. <laughs> oh my God. It's so stupid, though. Oh, my so, God. Chance, how old were you when you did that? Uh, I think I was 20, 19 or 20, yeah. Old enough to know better. Um, <laughs> never have I ever snooped through my significant other's phone without them knowing. <laughs> Well, 
Well, I had some other things I was looking for. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Uh, never have I ever gotten engaged and kept it a secret. <laughs> what I got? <laughs> I got married. <laughs> <laughs> I kept it a seat. <laughs> yeah, well, that counts. <laughs> right? Yeah. OK. So I have. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, never have I ever lied to Ellen while playing Never Have I Ever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, T.I. I appreciate it. <laughs> every year, I'm forced to dress up in a costume, and every year, they try to make it sexier than the year before. I'll know it's time to stop doing the show when they send me out in two coasters and a dinner napkin. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's amazing that I can, I can be wearing so little and yet sweating so much. <laughs> Feels like I'm, I'm smothered in a sexy futon or something. <laughs> so in the movie, Hustlers, Cardi B plays a stripper named Diamond, and she was actually a stripper in real life before she went into music. And that is a coincidence, because before I became a comedian, I was also a stripper. I was uh, <laughs> stripping paint from houses, but still. <laughs> I was a stripper. I was trying to get into character backstage. I'm working on my okrrr, okrrr. It was good. Okrrr. You know, I like that yours are softer than mine. Too. Really? I, I'm, I'm, I should be mad at my doctor. Oh, really? Yeah. Are they softer? I don't want to touch them, but are they are softer? Y yeah. Oh. Wow. wow. Yeah, they feel good. They, they're fun. That's good. Yeah, I thanks like a that. whole lot. So um, thanks for being here, Cardi B. I'm Cardi E, so uh, yeah. I, I've been... Uh... Well, did you, did you, you see my twerking? Did you see what I did? Uh, well, let me see it. Okay, okay. Should I face you? Okay. Um. Uh, uh, no? How's it go? I mean, uh, if you're trying to get higher. Uh huh. <laughs> How do I do it? A little bit more of. Uh... <laughs> That'll give you a couple of bucks right there. Yeah? Yeah. I'll give you $20 for I'll buy a lap dance for me. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I need $20. All right. Yeah, you're supposed to do that, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you for helping me get into character. So you dressed up for Halloween, right? You had a party? Uh, I'm... I did went to my husband's show. I was dressed as a nurse. Uh-huh. Because these girls been sick a year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so let's see the costume. Oh. Who got a fever? <laughs> That's nice. I think you could make anything look naughty, though, I think. I mean, you look very, very classy in this, and yet naughty. I look naughty. Yeah, but it's very, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing tonight on your Halloween show in Vegas? Well, right after this, I am going to dress up as Moana, because my baby's dressing up as Moana. Oh. So I'm trying to go to trick-or-treating for me. Yeah! Because yeah. <laughs> she can't eat candies, but you know, uh, I mean, you know, that's the fun thing about being a mom. Yes. You got a reason to trick-or-treat now. That's right. And, she, and you're both going to be Moana. Yeah. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> 